Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles, and today I want to go through what I think are the five best plants to help you heal up your cuts and wounds. Now obviously there are a lot of different plants available that will help to heal up things like cuts and wounds and even bruises, but in this video, like I said, we're going to cover what I think are the five best. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Number five is Bone Set. Bone Set is a powerful herb with white flowers that can be found all over the United States growing in low, moist environments. This plant has long been used for teas and tinctures for colds and flus and even malaria. Surprisingly enough though, Boneset is even good at healing up small cuts as well as scrapes. Its powerful effects will help to relieve the itch and burn of cuts as well as to speed up the healing process. Any part of the plant can be used for this and it can be used in a warm compress, wash, or in a tincture form. Number four is the pine. Now, the pine tree is well known by many bushcrafters as being a supermarket of the forest, but it's also nature's band-aid. However, there are many pine trees that can be found across the world, and many are usable in the same ways. However, the white pine is the most studied. The white pine is filled with antibacterials, anti-inflammatories that will help to heal up cuts and to prevent infection. The sap of the trees can also be used just like a band-aid to help keep out things like dirt and dust by just simply putting on the skin over the affected area. The tea itself of the pine can be used as a wash to bathe the wound to help you keep it clean because of the anti-inflammatories and antibacterials that it does possess. Number three is the plantain. Now a plantain is a native plant of Europe and has become prevalent all over most of the world taking over lawns with its broad or narrow leaves depending on which species you have. The plantain is a wonder plant that is chock full of anti-inflammatories, antibacterials, and even antibiotics. The entire plant can be used, but the leaves are the most commonly used and can very quickly be put on top of a wound in a pinch if nothing else is available. Washes and infusions are common ways to use this herb and tinctures can also be used. This herb is great at preventing infections and cuts and to help heal wounds faster because it has an astringent property to it that will help to close the skin. Number two is Sanical. Now there are many different versions of Sanical and most will work, however Black Sanical is the plant that we are talking about here. Sanical is a lover of moist woodlands and can be found across the central and northern parts of the United States. This plant has long been used by natives of North America for pulling out poisons and snake bites, and in fact another name for it is snake root. Besides being good for snake bites, this plant is great for bruising and cuts because it has anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and even pain relieving properties to it. This plant will work very well for deep and small cuts and can even be used in the field for great results. You can simply use this plant in a spit poultice or a poultice form. You can use it in a wash or a decoction. You can also use it in a tincture form. Number one is yarrow. Now it would be improper to not place yarrow as number one on this list in my opinion as its supposed discovery goes all the way back to Achilles using this plant on his troops in battle to help expedite the healing of wounds. This is an extremely beautiful plant with white flowers and widely found across the world. Yarrow can be found in fields, clearings, as well as the edges of roads and even woods. The entire plant can be used and it works wonders on healing deep cuts, but also to help remove pain. Yarrow possesses anti-inflammatories, antibiotics, antibacterials, astringent, and even pain relieving properties. Its effectiveness is world renowned and well backed by scientific literature as well as time. The plant can be used in a wash, poultice, or even tincture form and goes great combined with some of the other herbs on this list like plantain and sanical for a good example. Alright, so there's what I think are the five best plants for helping to heal cuts and wounds. Obviously, like I said before, these aren't all of them, but these are what I think are the best and these are generally the ones that I always go back to whenever I do have a cut or a wound that I need to heal up. So I thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned just a little bit of something. If you want to learn more about edible or medicinal plants, make sure to subscribe.